fall till then. What's it look like? Can I see? Hey, what you got? Mm -hmm. We're recording now. Mm, yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Good, 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 good. yeah, we're doing okay. Is it good? Yeah. What are we doing? Just a closer walk. Well. Okay. Dilemma, you know. I, know. So I think what we do is we, 
we do comp until it grows, then we do it out there, then we add another thing, right? We just keep adding the things. But um, one of the moments, uh, you know, my kids, uh, because I can't do carpool on Wednesdays uh, because we go all day, uh, so this, these folks uh, bring my boys to me uh, on Wednesday afternoons, and so they're with me at Coplin every Wednesday, which is awesome. Um, and I think they really love it. They come and they come sit right up front. And, uh, my 11 year old's been going to camp. I used to be going to Division of Youth Retreats and uh, to summer camp, and you know, now he's old enough, he's in fifth grade, he's been going to uh, EYC, which is the Episcopal Youth Community. And in those places, uh, because there's not always clergy present uh, and they want kids to learn how to lead worship. They've been teaching them how to lead uh, and participate in an order for Compline, which is really awesome. Uh, and so we're in here the other day and we're having Compline and I go to say, you know, hey, we're, you know, the order for Compline begins on page 127. And my 11 year old beat me to the punch. He's 127. Um, and I should have been like, you know, it's church. Children should be seen, not heard. That's not really what we do, uh, particularly here. And I, it, instead, I was really inspired by that, that my kid not only is growing to love worship in a corporate setting, community worship, um, but he's finding it in all these different pockets of his life, you know, when he goes to Canton or when he goes to EYC or when he comes here on Wednesday nights, that there's this constant uh, familiarity in the way that we do worship. And so he's even learning his way around the Book of Common Prayer. This thing um, that's in all of our pews that is this insane resource um, that we have to tap into the antiquity um, of, of the traditions that are handed down to us from generations and generations before us. And here's the, this is where the dilemma lies for me. Um, I've made no bones about it. I don't think there's any question that I'm a progressive guy, right? Yeah. I'm a progressive dude. Um, I'm pretty woke, as some people say, I guess. I, I don't know what that word means, but I, I think that's what I, I don't know. But at least the way people use it, I think I probably fall in that category. But uh, but I think that the, for me, the hard part uh, about wanting to like always sort of push the boundaries of where it is we're taking the gospel, how it is we're um, employing the gospel in our lives and our relationships. Um, I'm always, we want to push those boundaries, right? Because certainly that's what Jesus was doing uh, in the streets of Galilee, was really challenging people's ancient, kind of static, stayed, maybe even a little stale ways of believing in God and manifesting that into the real world. And, um, and so we want to, as a church, be always doing that. Yeah. Would, would you say that's the same thing about music, right? You oh, always yeah. want to push yeah. into the boundaries. You know, you always want to be moving forward. And but all the while, I want to continue to do worship in a way where things like what happened with Asher at Compton continue to happen. Where this thing that I did when I was 11 years old on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer, he too can go to that. Um, and I've been looking for a way to articulate that, but I have figured it out. Wow. I've done it. I've solved it. So we'll never have to think about it again. Thank because you. I have answered it. Um, as if I'm not proud enough. And I said this to a colleague of mine. We are, we are not responsible for holding everything sacred. Right? No. Because yeah. everything right. is not sacred. But we are responsible for guarding that which is in fact sacred. Oh, very much so. So not only the traditions of church and worship corporately um, and privately, the way that's been handed down to us, those things are beautiful, we have to hold on to those. But we also have to be conservative even, traditional, uh, fundamentalist even, um, about the ideals of a kingdom-centered gospel of grace, mercy, kindness generosity mm -hmm. and goodness and so to hold those two things um, is to be progressively traditional um, to really guard that which is sacred while always making sure um, that we're also holding sacred the ideals of the gospel which is the ever-expanding 
love of God, and in that sense, we have to progress. We have to move forward. We have to do this thing that Episcopalians don't typically like to do, and that is change. Yeah. And evangelize. To evangelize, but we don't have to change everything. No. While we do it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And we're nurturing the next generation of Episcopalians. Oh, certainly. The ones who will take it even further and probably make us uncomfortable where they take well, yeah, the that's gospel, true. right? That's Maybe true. I'm not as woke as I thought. <laughs> um, so that's the thing for today, uh, is that I really want, I want us um, as believers to try to be progressively traditional. Um, hold on to that which is sacred, while not really considering everything that we do um, as sacred, and praying that God give us the guidance and the wisdom to know the difference. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have to have fun in the process. Oh, uh, we don't have fun. It's one, like, yeah, man. No. Joy at all costs. Yeah. Right? Joy at all yeah. costs. All right. I love you. So what I'm going to do, even though it's a nighttime prayer, the current's going to drop at night, right? Uh, I'm going to say my favorite prayer from Compliment. Oh. Which is a lot of people's yeah. favorite prayers. It's the same favorite prayer. You have the yeah. same prayer everybody has. So the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. 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 Compline, tomorrow night, 530. Uh, because it's Lent, we're doing soup following Compline every Wednesday night during Lent. So please come. Uh, and join us in this very space for Compline tomorrow night at 530. And then we'll move over uh, for soup that's being provided by the vestry mm -hmm. uh, this week. All right. We love you so big. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. No. Oh. 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 <laughs> you're, you're absolved. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. Lamp. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>